Welcome to Eastern Library. We are the library for Eastern Local School District and the Eastern Branch of the Meigs County District Public Library. Because our library is a joint venture between the public library and the school that houses the library, the two have separate hours, separate entrances, and separate employees. The school library is open to students and is staffed by school personnel during school hours. It is important to note that the collections belonging to the school library and to the public library are not restricted to either one, but are available to all patrons. Once in the library, a patron will quickly see the circulation desk. There, she can return books, check out books, or request help from a clerk or librarian. During the school day, Students who enter the library without the supervision of a teacher must sign in and out of the library at the circulation desk. To the right and left of the circulation desk are DVDs. The DVDs are broken into fiction and non-fiction collections, and beside this tall shelf of DVDs is also a small collection of music that patrons can check out. The long, low bookshelf overlooking the bottom level of the library is young adult fiction. It includes such popular series as Harry Potter and the Hunger Games. Though targeted at upper middle school and early high school, this collection is popular with readers of all ages. There are a number of public library computers available to look books up in the catalog or to access the internet. A patron need only sign up for them at the circulation desk. There are also a few computers for school use only. These computers are available for student or teacher use during the school day and can be used to print to school printers. In order to print, a student should ask school library personnel for permission first. Near the school computers is the magazine collection and with it some reference materials and the classics. The regular adult patron stacks include biographies, nonfiction materials, and regular fiction materials. The biographies are organized alphabetically by the last name and then first name of the person the biography is about. If there are multiple biographies about the same person, then they are organized alphabetically by the last name and first name of the authors. You may find audiobooks or even video materials intermingled among the nonfiction materials so that when you find the information on a particular person or topic, all of it is together. Nonfiction materials are organized using the Dewey Decimal System, which issues a number for each topic, and the more detailed the decimal place, the more detailed the topic. The regular fiction collection is organized alphabetically by the author, last name, then first name. Multiple books by the same author are then organized by title. Some books are segregated into categories based on their genre. A subcollection such as mystery or inspirational would include books popular to many patrons. Paperback books are organized in the same way as fiction and its subcategories, except that the organization often stops with just the first letter of the author's last name. Large print books are not only useful for patrons with visual impairments, but for anyone who can appreciate a little less strain on the eyes. Eastern's library has a very nice story pit. It is used during the school day to read to elementary students. The public library often uses it in the summer and on certain evenings after the school day for reading programs to young children. Hearing a book read is great, but being able to follow along to a book while it is read is even better. There's a small collection of follow along books next to the story pit. All along the front wall of the library, under the main windows, and wrapping around to the stairs that lead from one level to the other is the juvenile nonfiction collection. 
It is organized in the same way as the regular fiction collection, using the Dewey Decimal System. Books that are propped on top of these shelves are likely new to the library, much like books that are on special displays. They could also be seasonal books, like those that become popular around Christmas or Halloween. The low bookshelves along the ramp and separating the two levels of the library are the Juvenile Easy Fiction Collection. As the name implies, these are the books in the lowest reading level. They include such classics as Dr. Seuss. Books in the Juvenile Easy Fiction Collection are organized by only the first letter of the author's last name, in part because the young readers have difficulty with a more complex organization. The Juvenile Fiction Collection, which is a step up from Juvenile Easy Fiction, but a step down from Young Adult Fiction, is housed in the freestanding bookshelves in the middle of the bottom level of the library. Juvenile Fiction is organized using the author's last name, then first name, then the title of the book, in the same way as Young Adult Fiction and Regular Fiction. On the same set of shelves, are the Young Adult Biography Collection, the Young Adult Classics, and the Young Adult Audiobook Collection. Books that are too small or thin to shelve well on the regular bookshelves are separated into baskets or special shelves. Books that are too large to fit on the regular bookshelves are separated into oversized book collections. In addition to checking out materials, patrons have access to public restrooms, water fountains, a printing service from which patrons can print from the internet or have copies made. They can also make use of the public library conference room for meetings, but special rules must be followed. To find an up-to-date list of costs, fees, and regulations associated with the library, please visit the website. On behalf of the Eastern Library, thank you for taking our electronic tour, and we hope to see you soon.